in today's video i'm going to open up my reborn silicone doll's mouth today and there's only one way of doing it hey everybody so as you know i have a full body silicone doll i got him on amazon and i know everyone's like why would you buy a reborn silicone doll on amazon they're not good quality but he's cute and one of the things that I wish he did have though was a mouth that opens because when I went shopping on Amazon, there was a baby boy that did have an open mouth and it cost like a hundred dollars more than the one that I have. And I was like, oh my God, that is so expensive. So instead, I'm gonna try and do it at home. I know it's probably not a good idea, but don't get me wrong, I do think that Reborn artists deserve all the money that they charge. It's very hard work, but my cheap Amazon doll does not come with an open mouth and I want him to have an open mouth, so therefore I'm going to try it today. So here's the kit that I bought. I'm gonna use this X-Acto knife. And last time I used an X-Acto knife, I was cutting candles and then I cut my finger and it was bleeding forever. So I gotta be very careful this time. And now I'm gonna fast forward to the first 10 seconds of this cutting because my hand was in the way, so I'm sorry about that. But towards the end of this cut, you'll see I was able to get through without any problems. There we go. Okay, that is awesome. I was actually really worried about that, but this knife is pretty sharp and I was able to do it in one cut. But now I have to scoop out the mouth and I think that's going to be the challenge. So this is where I was trying to fail with my cutting skills. I should have cut out one big scoop, but instead I was just chopping up whatever was inside, whatever I could get. I was too worried about cutting the lips. I mean, you can't be too worried about that because you can only cut it once and then you messed it up. So, I mean, it's good that I was careful about it, but look how terrible it looks. I think I need a real tweezer. The only tweezer I had was a Hello Kitty one. But yeah, look at this. I got a little bit out of there. Oh, it looks so bad. Okay, so that was such a big fail. I'm so sorry you had to watch that. But I think there's enough room now in his mouth for a soother, and I need a preemie soother. So let's head to Toys R Us. That's right, one of the many perks of living in Canada is that we still have a Toys R Us. Now I need to pick up one of these for my other doll channel. I need a doctor's kit. All right, so we are in the baby section, and I don't see any preemie soothers. But this one looks like the smallest one. Those are the ones that they hand out at the hospitals. So I think this might work. Because the only other options that I have is this one right here. And I don't know, I like the teddy bear one more. Okay, let's open this up. I hope it's going to fit. Oh, they're so adorable. Yeah, I think that this might work. Look how cute they are. Okay, let's try it out on him. I know his mouth is definitely wide enough. Let's see. Oh, it does fit. Yeah, oh, that's cute. It's not deep enough. I need to scoop out a little bit more. But here, I'll show you guys. So it does fit in there, but it's sticking out a little bit. So yeah, I need to scoop a little bit more. But the pacifier otherwise fits him really well. If anyone is wondering what kind this is, it's the Avon one. Isn't this adorable? Fits perfectly. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps us out. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.